Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is, we'll say two o'clock, Thursday afternoon. I just did a work call and now I'm heading to Three Ships for Bean. Supposed to get some pretty gnarly thunderstorms starting now. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But we're still gonna go for Bean anyways, cause that's what we do. So a couple things that are gonna be going on here with this channel. I have said this all along. Some people don't get that, and it's my fault. I am not a gear review channel. I am not a technology channel or any of that shit for any Apple products, any computers, tablets, phones, no cameras, lenses, or any of that stuff. It just so happens that over the past few years, I have excessively and voraciously bought and sold a lot of that stuff. And then I've given my two cents on it all. So I wanna make it very clear, I am not a gear review channel. I'm taking that a step further. I will no longer be calling out any of the gear that I use. Whichever camera I happen to be using, I'm not gonna talk about that. This is all gonna be story driven. I'm pretty bad about doing shorts. I've been pretty bad about keeping up with things because as my, uh, you know, one of my last videos said, life intrudes. I've been overwhelmed with this new job. I've been overwhelmed with, with my father's state of health. I've been overwhelmed with my own state of health at times. This goes to the wayside when that happens. In the meantime, in the interim of all this life intruding and all this stuff happening, again, I have bought a shit ton of gear. I've gotten in a lot of cameras, lenses, supporting equipment, microphones, gimbals, iPads. And to this date, my most popular video is on an iPad holding arm that I got so that I could have my iPad held for me when I'm laying in bed that I did three years ago. It's, it's got over 40,000 views. It is, it is like my most popular video. I continue to get questions on it on a regular basis. I don't know why the hell that thing was so popular, but it was. And I'm not saying I'm anti-gear review or anti-gear and all that kind of shit. Gear is important, clearly. I love buying it and using it and, and, and talking about it, but it is not going to be the focus of this channel. I have now removed the portion of in my description that lists out all the gear that I use. I'm not gonna be posting to my kit or any of that kind of shit because I wanna make sure that you understand that this is not about gear. This is storytelling. I'm going to be telling stories. Come on, dumbass. Oh, God. Fucking hate people. They're stopping. They're literally stopping on opposing traffic to let this twit go, and she will not go. I want a cow scoop on my frickin' forerunner so I can knock dumbasses like this out of the way. Tree falling in the woods. Tree falling in the woods. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, this is going to be all story driven. So you can hear stories like this and me freaking out on this dumb muffin in front of me that absolutely will not fucking go. Oh my God. So this is the kind of content you can expect. Lots of road rage. Um, I drive all over the place. Now, I get this uh, like Google map thing or Google location. I don't know what the hell it is. Basically, once a month, Google sends me something that tells me where the hell I've been for a month. And I didn't realize like how many places I've been, how much I drive. I mean, I know I drive a lot. Um, like July, it shows me that I drove over 3,800 miles, 95 different cities. 16 of them were cities that I'd never been to before. You know, and, and I think to myself, man, I've been all over the place and I haven't documented any of that other than me sitting here road raging on dumbasses that don't know how to drive. So I need to start doing better about that. And the only way for me to do that is to do that and to stop doing, stop concentrating on my gear. Okay, I got another lens. Okay, I got another camera. Okay, that camera sucks, so I'm not using that. Okay, here's my setup now that I use in my Forerunner. Okay, well, I changed it again. So I'm not gonna do that shit anymore. If you wanna hear about gear, there are other places that, that concentrate on that kind of shit. So I'm at three ships now, it's pouring. I'm gonna get wet, Mwah. I also thought that that perhaps, you know, since I got my dad's Pope chair, and I'll explain that when I shoot this video, of, of doing things in the library, because I've got my little mobile uh, filming stand that I can do that with, uh, we're gonna do that when I get home, because I'm done working for the day, as far as I'm concerned. So let's go get some bean, and then go and shoot cool shit at home. 
I'm also shooting in 30 frames per second instead of 24 now. 4K 30, changed it on all my devices. I gotta remember to change it on my timeline in, in uh, Final Cut, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, bean time. Bean has been gotten, sadly, but okay. So cookies, got dessert for tonight. Let's go do something else exciting. Okay, folks, so here we are. We are now in my library. Well, it's her library. This is the Pope chair. Uh, you can't really see it all that well, but basically it is uh, the recliner that I bought my dad when I was home back at the beginning of April. Sadly, he only got to sit in it for a week before things just sort of went downhill and now he's at a home and can't have it there. So he was pretty, well, pissed and annoyed that he didn't get to enjoy it. And I told him that if it was all right with him, I would bring it back with me. And he was very happy about that, that at least somebody got to enjoy it. So he calls it his Pope chair, because you know how the Pope sits in one of those big ass chairs, you know, and lords over everybody. So he had gotten a Pope chair, so to speak, from his dad at his place when he passed and then got another one after that because that one was ruined and it got to a point where all all it was just shredded apart and i had gone home years ago and duct taped the shit out of it to try to hold it together because he liked it and he didn't want to get another one and so i duct taped it to to keep it together and he used to put a cover it over a cover over it anyways and then it got to a point where it was just every time he sat down there was just shit everywhere and he hated it so he asked me to get him a new one and i did and now i have inherited it well, let me tell you something this some bitch is seriously comfortable don't know if you're going to be able to actually see this or not but oh okay i guess you can I mean, I could, I could actually get used to this. And last week, or some time ago, a week or two ago, I had uh, an ocular migraine and went and got us Tijuana Flats. But before I ate, I said I wanted to lay down until you know the amoeba made its way all the way across my field of vision so I could see again. And I came in here, and granted, it was still hot as balls out. It was over 100 degrees. But this room is always nice and cool because other than a couple of lights, there is no equipment in here. We have no electronics in here and it stays nice and cool. So, oh, what? Oh, uh. So, I did what I just, what you saw me do is I reclined in this thing and I oozed into it and I'll be damned. I'm like, oh, okay, I can't sit in this thing all the time because if I do, I'll just fall asleep and nobody needs that but it is comfortable, so yes, I have my dad's Pope chair. And I thought that it would be a nice, intimate little setting to shoot the rest of this video on and once again reiterate a couple of things. One, this is a vlog channel. I am documenting my life. That usually consists of you hearing me bitch and complain about a uh, day job, although not as much as I used to because I actually love the job now. You'll also get me road raging, although I try to cut a lot of that out because it happens a lot because people are so annoying. But you'll obviously see me in my Forerunner a lot, and then you will see me out and about. So at Pleasure House Point, most of the time, three ships, because I'll probably start filming a little bit more inside when I'm not you know, surrounded by a bunch of people that I'm gonna get on film that don't, you know, didn't sign up for it. Great Neck Park when I test things out, uh, or I just wanna go and, and not go as far as Pleasure House Point to get out into the nature and, and things like that. That's really the gist of this video, is that I just wanted to sit back and kind of remind people that despite that I have been excessive in the past and bought a lot of gear and talked about it on this channel going forward, I'm pretty much not gonna talk about it at all, which isn't to say that I won't answer questions about stuff, uh, certainly not. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. And I wanted to take the time to sit in this nice relaxing room that I never spend time in unless I'm on the floor rolling my back out. Now I'm gonna sit in here with no equipment, no TVs, no printers, no massive computer screens and all that shit. I'm just gonna sit in here and chill. Can't say that I'm gonna sit in here and read a book or anything crazy like that, but I definitely plan on being in here and sharing some info with you and just sitting back and palavering with you. That's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. 
As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.